Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you a conversation I recently had with a Jehovah's Witness. I approached her and her friend at a cart. It was really early in the morning when there was no people out and I was able to record this conversation on my phone and you do hear a lot of the background noise, background traffic in the audio and I do apologize for that. And I think that this was a great conversation because not only were we able to cover a number of different topics, but you do also see, or hear in this case, the dishonesty on her part, where I ask her about false prophecy and what she thinks and what the Bible has to say, yet she doesn't apply it to her own organization. And I think that that's fine because I still think I was able to plant a number of different seeds and that when we have these type of conversations, it's okay to allow the person that you disagree with to save face. You don't always need to get them to admit that you are right. And so you do hear that in this conversation. And in the end, she invited me back to her cart and said that we'll continue to discuss some of these things. And I think that that's great because that's how I started talking to Jehovah's Witnesses, where it wasn't one time that I approached them. I had multiple discussions with the same Jehovah's Witnesses who would sit at the same bus stop day after day after day. And uh, this was a great learning experience and I was able to share with them a number of different truths. So I hope that you're edified by this conversation and I'd also love to hear your thoughts. Christian churches, what makes you different than them? Same thing. My answer is we base our belief 
and say what the Bible said and not any other thing. So they would say they believe they base their beliefs off the Bible. Then when we discuss that, I we show them what the Bible said with the Bible in hand. Mm-hmm. So I don't see any Bibles here. No, we don't. We don't uh, put Bibles there. We just uh, magazines, books, and books. Uh, we have the Bible electronically. Okay, we have the Bible electronically. <laughs> but then you give out literature from if that's they not want to. that's not the Bible though. No, it's based on what the Bible says. But do you see how that's confusing? Like you say you're preaching. You say you show only the Bible. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but you said you base your beliefs off the Bible. Yes. And then if you get in a discussion, you go to the Bible. But there is no Bible there. Okay. In this case, we don't have the Bible here because it's just brochures. If the, yeah. If the people want to know more, yeah. then we can show them. In your case, you can go to jw.org. I can go to jw.org. Yes. Okay. All right. Because I believe, I believe in the Bible. Mm-hmm. You know, and like when I co workers ask me questions, you know, I tell them, hey, you should just be reading the Bible. Yes. Sometimes they'll ask me about a certain preacher on TV, and I tell them my opinion, but then I say, what's important is that you need to be reading the Bible. But I point them to the Bible, I don't point them to a website. But that website, they can answer the, uh, a lot of Bible questions. They answer Bible questions? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. A lot of them. And, and since our, our um, language, this is uh, for Spanish speaking. Okay. So that's why, uh, in your case, so many English I can go to English. Yes. Okay. You can go here, and, and, and we're going to have your answer explain it more fully. Okay. That's helpful. Yes. Um, so, like, all of these churches, they say they have the truth, mm-hmm. right? And sometimes people, they say, like, the end of the world is going to come. Do you ever hear that? Yes. What do you think about that? When they that say, is the end of the world. This system of things that, what we call it, is the end of the wicked, the end of uh, everything bad. Yeah. It's very new. It's new. It's, it's, it is. It's what, again, what the Bible said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I remember um, some years ago there was billboards, mm-hmm. and they would talk about that, like 2012, that yeah, was going to be the end of the world. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Or, or uh, 20, no. Yeah. Year, two, uh, which one is it? 1999, at the beginning of uh, 2000, mm-hmm. I think. Oh, they said that the end of the world? The, the same thing. Okay. Yeah, same thing. What do you think about churches that say that? Well, they all, they all base their beliefs, I think, what they say in the Bible, what the Bible said. But are they? But, but we don't, in our case, we don't put any any date because we don't know. But because all of the things that you see around you, the, the tragedies, the, the wicked, the disasters, everything mm-hmm. comes what the Jesus said is going to be signs of the end. Okay. Right now is more, more, how can I say? You can see it in more often. Okay. Not as uh, we saw them in the past. Mm-hmm. One was a fire, Earthquake. earthquakes, yeah. and now they're, they're all together. Yeah, there's a lot. Right? Yes. yes. So those are signs that something's going to happen very, very fast. And I don't know. So <laughs> the group that said uh, 2000 was going to be the end, are they wrong? Well, it, nothing happened then. Yeah, so they're wrong, right? Well, what do you think? I mean, what does the Bible say? The Bible doesn't say anything. I mean, about people who make dates. Oh, says people's going to say a lot of things, but it, it's not what the Bible said, but like you said, it's going to be nothing. Yeah. Um, have you heard of the word prophecy? Prophecy? The Bible says a lot of prophecy. It's a prophecy that um, is still in this time, in the past. Mm-hmm. What does the Bible say about false prophecy? We don't 
underneath them. Yeah. Can I show you a verse? You got your Bible? Your electronic yes, Bible? Yes. It's uh, Deuteronomy um, 18, 19, verse 19 through 20. So what does this verse say about false prophets? It says that this false prophet has to be done. Yeah. So in the Old Testament, that's how serious, back in the yes. times of Israel, that's how serious God was, saw. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So has Jehovah's Witnesses ever made dates? No. Never? Once uh, they... When in the history of the whole witnesses, mm -hmm. I was not a witness back then. I don't know what year it was, but it was 20, 30 years ago. I don't know. But someone said, I think someone said something that it was not a date, but someone thought it was a date. It okay. spread that. Like a rumor? Like a rumor. But it, nothing happened. Nothing happened? It, but because of that, it was just a rumor. Mm -hmm. I think someone misunderstood something, a word, something. I don't remember. That was not. How long have you been a Jehovah's Witness? Um, 25 years. What were you before? Nothing. Uh, nothing. My parents, they didn't go to really church or taught us. Oh, yeah. Nothing religious. Okay. Uh, why? I don't know. Yeah. I think my dad was Catholic, I think. Yeah. But he was not. Like practicing or anything? No. Okay. Um, this book's by a religion. Mm -hmm. And um, they said here that um, there's going to be a great jubilee cycle is due to begin in 1925. At that time, the earthly phase of the kingdom shall be recognized. Okay? And they say here that in 1925, they are to be resurrected as perfect men and constitute the princes or rulers in the earth according to his promise. Therefore, we may confidently expect that 1925 will mark the return of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the faithful prophets of old. Particularly those named by the Apostle in Hebrews chapter 11 to the condition of the perfection. What do you think about that? They're not here, right? No. So here, this religion said that in 1925, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were going to come back. Is that false prophecy? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. So what do you, what would you say? Some of the prophecies they do 
you that the watchtower has made some false dates, prophecies some dates and we didn't how do you say we didn't know yeah it didn't come through no it doesn't concern me because what i believe is what the bible said you believe it's what the bible and but the bible says that if you speak in jehovah's name and what you say does not come true you're a false prophet yeah given some dates and it didn't come true, doesn't make me not believe in what the Bible said. That doesn't make any sense to me, you know, because yeah. here, this says Watchtower, right? Mm-hmm. This is Watchtower. Mm-hmm. You're pointing me to Watchtower. Mm-hmm. You're not pointing me to the Bible. You're pointing me to Watchtower. Yeah, because you're, you're going to have a Bible answer your your questions. So if they, you didn't even know about these dates. And if you didn't know about them, how do you know that you can trust Watchtower to tell you the truth about the Bible when they have false prophecy in their past? Because I compare what what it says here to what it says in the Bible. Okay. So you said that when Jesus comes back, it's going to be a presence. We might not see him. We're not going to see him. But... Revelation 1-7 says, this is about Jesus, Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierce him, and all peoples on the earth will mourn because of him. So it will, so it shall be. Mm-hmm. Every eye will see him. Mm-hmm. And when it says, with the clouds. I haven't seen Jesus. Me neither. So, is it wrong when it says every eye? No, no, no. When you study the Bible, you know what it means, things like that. You're going to see it because you're going to see what is going to happen. Because uh, if you read other scriptures, it says that blood and, and flesh does not go to the heaven. So how flesh and blood. Flesh and blood. When Jesus died, he didn't went to heaven in the flesh or blood. So where do you where do you believe when Jesus died, where do you believe he went? To the heaven. To the heaven. Mm-hmm. Okay. But not as a person, a living person. As a spirit, spirit. person? Yes. As a spirit person. If a spirit is invisible, mm-hmm. you can't see it. So in the same manner, he's going to come back. You're not going to see it, 
that you're going to feel that he's huge. Okay, so after Jesus died and he was resurrected, how many people saw him go up to heaven? A lot of people. And then how, how many? Do you know? More than 500. More than 500. So he's, you said he's going to come back the way that he went. How did he go? He went where people saw him visibly. Then he disappeared into his sense. But did people visibly see him go? They did. So why wouldn't people visibly see him come? Because it doesn't if it's going to be the same way. Because it isn't. Then the Bible is going to contradict itself. Not here. Here. When it says that flesh and blood is not going to go, can go to heaven. <clears throat> well, it doesn't make sense that people would see him. But they're going to see it in, in feeling this presence. With the things that is gonna happen in heaven, like I just read you verse that said in. every eye will see him, mm-hmm. but why doesn't spiritual eyes? It doesn't say spiritual eyes. No, but it does. But so now you're adding to the Bible. No, no, no. Yeah, no. yeah. It doesn't say no. spiritual eyes will no. see him. No, but because of, when I say it, and it's in the Bible, it's not it's something that I'm making up. So it doesn't make any sense that Jesus is going to come in the flesh. Um, Can I read you another verse then? It's John chapter 2. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. John 2, 19 through 21. Can you read that? So Jesus says, destroy this temple. And in three days, I will raise it up. Mm-hmm. The Jews said, it took 46 years to build this temple, and you will raise it up in three days. But he was speaking of the temple of what? His body. He, he was him. Not a spiritual body. He was saying his body. He literally said, this temple, in three days, I will raise it up. He wasn't speaking of a different temple, a different body. Mm-mm. But you know that he was speaking about his death. He was speaking about his own body, the same body. It doesn't say here that it was a different body or a spiritual body. No, but he was saying that his body, he was, he was going to be... Excuse my English. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, you're fine. You're totally fine, Gloria. <laughs> um, he was about to killed, right? Yeah. His body was to be who is going to die? Mm -hmm. His body was about to just be yeah. Anyways, (laughs) three days after what he was saying, it was you can read it in Spanish, it's fine. Yes. He said, Y tú lo levantarás en tres días, speaking of his resurrection. Mm-hmm. Um, but in this verse, it says, what is he going to raise up? You said his body. It's not a different body. No. It's the same body he died in. Yes. But that's not what Watchtower teaches. Watchtower teaches it's a it was a different spiritual body. Because when he he was resurrected, remember the the uh, Maria and Mary and Martha, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they went to look up when when he was um, uh, the name? In his tomb. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Yeah, tomb. Yeah. Because it was a, a, a big rock uh, covering the entrance. When these two ladies came to see where he was, they the rock was moved. Remember? Yeah. They came in and looked for, for Jesus, and an angel was on the. Yeah. There and, and he told them, 
he's not here, go kill the others. He was resurrected. They didn't see Jesus. Yeah. And in, in their way to kill the others, they were walking and someone said, hey, who are you looking for? Uh, uh, something like that. I don't even remember the exact words. They didn't recognize the voice mm-hmm. at the beginning or the person. They thought it was the uh, the keeper of uh, yeah. That then yeah. After they were keep, they kept walking, uh, Jesus told them, "It's me." Right. That's what when those ladies told him, Maria and Mark. Well, do you know the reason why they didn't recognize him? Because it was not the same. No, we, it can't be that because Jesus said he's going to resurrect this body in three days. He was speaking at the temple of his body. And why? They because God was God was hiding it from them. It wasn't time. And I know this because it says it in Luke. I think it's either Luke 24 where they start to eat fish. Mm-hmm. He ate fish to prove that he was a real human being. Not a spirit. And he even says, a spirit does not have flesh and bones that mm-hmm. like I do. He needed to prove his disciples so he, that he was him, not someone else. That he was telling the truth. He so says, can believe in why him. are you troubled and why do doubts arise see? in your heart? See my hands mm-hmm. and my feet. That is, I myself, touch me and see. He Literally, everything the Watchtower teaches about Jesus' body being resurrected, Jesus did so that they wouldn't teach that. He said, look at my hands and my feet. Look at this. I am a real person. He said, I am not a spirit. He said that. And you you heard that the reason why he needed to prove that he was him. He needed to prove that he wasn't a spirit creature like they teach. They teach it wasn't the same body. They teach he was a spirit. This is what you've been saying. Literally, he did that to disprove them. You see what I'm saying? No, because he was proving again to them that he was him. Because if he, but watch our teachers, it wasn't him. If, if Jesus were appear to them in spirit, they would not. He wasn't a spirit, him. Gloria. He wasn't a spirit. No, I'm telling you. I know. If he was trying to prove to them that he was him, if he was a spirit. What would you think they would do? So do you believe after Jesus resurrected, he had a real body with flesh and bones? After that. When did he change to a spirit? He didn't. After he went to heaven. He didn't change to a spirit. The Bible doesn't teach that. You, Like you just said, he says, see my hands and my feet as I myself touch me and see. For a spirit does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. He literally said, I'm not a spirit. I have flesh and bones. In that moment. And where does it say that then he changed to a spirit? There? No. Yeah. No. But after that, how many times did Jesus appear to them in the flesh and, and bones after he went to heaven? And I'm, I'm going to... I'm gonna, um, he appeared, and I'm going to stop you here. Okay. Think about it, and I'm going to be here next, today is Saturday, next Saturday. Okay. Same time. Same time? You want me to come back? Yes. All right, I'll come back. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a plan. But that's, that's, If that's, I can. Are you here every Saturday? Yeah. Well, today, this Saturday, and I think next one. What about the following? The following, they change our places. But you cannot steal them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But I'm, I think I'm going to be here. I, I need to see my, my Your schedule? My, my schedule. Well, you know, I live close by, so we'll talk again. Yes. I, so what was the, 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 the homework? Uh, the homework assignment me. For, for both of us yeah. is, um, where does it say his body went from flesh and bones to spirit? Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. And then we'll go from there. Okay. I really nice. enjoy talking with you. Nice you're very, you, you're and I'm very, very, very nice. nice. You know what? I am your so English smiling. is so good. I am so and you know what? I'm going to work on my Spanish.
and if you see me around and I don't recognize you, please let me know because I'm so bad. I might, I might, I might look different because I'll have makeup on and my hair down. And you know, I look, yeah, this is me. Okay. But I'm so bad at faces that yeah. you have this no This is me without any idea. makeup. Yeah, you have no idea how bad I am. And All right. Can I give you a hug? Yes, you okay. can. All right, God Hannah, bless you. Hannah, yep, Hannah. Hannah, have a great day. Okay, you it too. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, it was a pleasure talking to you too. Thank you. So the two books that I had in a backpack when I approached her were Millions Now Living Will Never Die. I have a scanned copy by J.F. Rutherford. And I didn't show her the cover of either of these two books that I quoted from. I just pulled them out and read it and then eventually showed her um, the inside cover who was published by and the outside. And the second book was The Time Is At Hand and that was on page 242 and this is series two. So thank you so much for watching this. I'd love to hear your thoughts and please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and I hope you have a great day.